All right, so with these sort of questions, in your trial or in your HSC, they'll give you a lot of the details that you need. They'll tell you what percentages and things like that. Um, so, I don't know where I put that. It would have been nice to know where I put that. Yeah, back pocket, there we go. Okay, so what we've got to do in these one is find the minimum payment due for the following balances using the information we just got supplied. Okay, so you've got it on the previous page. So, if you have $23.40, left owing on your credit card, what's your minimum repayment? I'll give you a hint. The information is on the previous page. Don't just sit there like leprechauns. If you owe $23.40, that's the outstanding balance. It is less than 25 so what's your minimum repayment? Yeah, which is $23.40. Okay, Because it's less than $25, bucks, you have got to pay the whole thing off. Next one is $1,836.25. What do we do? Whichever is greater. So if it's over $1,700, just find 1.5% 1 of it. Okay? So you go 1.5% times, how much was it? 1.5 1.5 times 1836.25 equals, or is it 27? 54. Awesome. Now, just someone with a calculator, can you do me a favour? Can you find 1.5% of $1,700? So just do the same, 1.5% times 1700 1700 yeah. 1.5% of 1700 uh, You didn't do 1.5%, you did 1.5 times. Okay, that's why 25 is that cutoff and why 1700 is there. 1.5% 1 of 1700 is 25. So if you had 1.5% 1 of 1600 it's going to be less than $25, but your minimum repayment is... Yes, $25, she says, with complete and utter certainty. Okay, the minimum repayment is $25. Okay, so $1,700 is that mark. So anything less than $1,700, you're going to be paying $25. Bucks. Cool? Cool. All right, so now what we've got to do is round down to the nearest dollar for this one, which is what? Round down. All right. Why do they round down instead of? Because we would normally round up to the nearest dollar. We'd round. We would round to the nearest dollar, and in this case, we would round up. Why do they make you round down? Yeah, you pay less, but are they trying to be nice to you? No. Nah. Well, they do. But by not making you pay that, you'll still have that extra fifty-four cents that you got to pay interest on. They're doing it so that they get more money in the future. Yeah, it's how it rolls. Well, it's a business. That's their job. Honestly, you can't feel you can't be cranky at a bank for trying to make money. That's what they're there for. Okay, that's why building societies are there because they make less money. They're not as trying to be as profitable. But banks are businesses, and they're there to make money. Can't have a go at them for it. All right, next one. Question C, $280.10. What's your payment going to be? 25 excellent. It is more than the $25, but it's less than $1,700. So if you worked out 17%, uh, 1.5% of it, it would be a very small number, but your minimum repayment is 25 bucks. Yep, 
So we've only got this one to go. So what do we do with this one? $1,960, but the credit limit is $1,900. So what do you do? Close. How much do you owe? You owe $1,960. So you do 1.5% 1 of 1960 Find that out for me. What was it? Okay, round it down to the nearest dollar. 29 bucks. Cool. But you were over the limit. 60? Yeah? You happy with 60? Means you're going to pay 89 bucks. Yeah. So you've got to pay that 60 to get back down to the, the 1600. But then you've got to pay the 1.5% of the whole amount that you did owe. Cool. And that is that. That's a good start. We've got another two sessions this afternoon. I'm very excited.